Ball's well run. First touch for Johnson. The mid-range is there. And Fulkerson thought he was fouled instead and has a chance to make a final four run. St. Joe's also committing a foul when well, that shot was in the air. Baseline jumper is good. Deion Johnson. Tight Conzo Martin style of play. And they've got some big time guards. Last foul went against Keon Johnson attacking on the other end. He was fouled. Not just uh, getting off to a hard, hot start, but they're a top 25 team and they're going to stay there. The, the quality of their guard play is, is really good. And, but this Tennessee team is, is special right now when you just look at the roster top to bottom. Tennessee defense. Fulkerson tracks down the rebound. Here come the balls. Open luck. Victor Bailey, and it's all net. And a timeout call. So after all of that, a common foul. UT back to work. Johnson penetrating. Rip got in the way that time, maybe partially blocked at the last moment. Full court pressure. Vescovi breaks it. Pons on the other end. And Keon Johnson will dump it off. Anasiki. Pons to Johnson to Anasiki. Another turnover. But Vescovi wanted it. He pawns from downtown. 36 to 15. The Vols 65% from the floor. Squeaking out there, can't you? That's a difference this year. Johnson got caught in no man's land. Right now, who <laughs> would normally not wait to let him know about a little bit of karma. Johnson spins it in. He's got five. He must be cussing out the refs right now, so he put his <laughs> he put his R-rated mask. Be a foul on Bishop as Johnson came down pretty hard. Ball's doubling up St. Joe's. More free throw. Keon Johnson, who now has six points. ESPN 100 player at number 26 in the last recruiting cycle. Whatever it was. So it took. That's what we did, by the an way. An extreme amount of, uh, yeah, the, put on the COVID-19. And so it took an extreme amount of self-discipline for these guys to, to stay in that routine on their own. But they are on pace to be the first team to get over 60 against Tennessee. That's correct. Here's a steal. Look out. Johnson attacking. Pons was just licking his chop. Bailey. Wide open and it's all net. 56 on the board in the first half for Tennessee. Because he was a guy as a freshman. Played at North Carolina, was terrific, and everybody thought, man, this kid can go. Had some injuries, had some setbacks. That kid can go too. Keon Johnson. <laughs> That's a freshman they're excited about. But not ball very far. From I was gonna say sounds familiar based <laughs> off what I remember seeing. Johnson throws up an air ball. You can solve it. Who you got? Yeah. Um, man, I still think Alabama has yet to play their best basketball. With 10. Johnson attacking. Be denied an opportunity at yeah, either a bye or a home game to start it off. I think the real question is, you know, what happens if you expand the playoff with the conference championship games? And the SEC Watch out. championship, so spectacular, just like that dunk by Keon Johnson. Crowd on its feet, 91 on the board for UT. Right up there with the best players in the SEC last season, the big man. Johnson was pushed as the best pro prospect on the UT roster as it stands now. Toviak, SID for Tennessee. I asked, what's the last time Tennessee had back-to-back 100-point -back games? Three weeks in a row. And notice I said potential. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not ready to give them that. And, and some of it, too. Viscobi's played really well tonight. But one of the things I think that team, oh, they're doing a lot of that. That is a great point. Six guys tonight in double figures. Going to be offensively challenged, and now you're starting to see some of that rust from all the delays. Jib, you have tuned in, looking for Mississippi State, Mississippi Valley State. That game has started over on the SEC Network alternate channel. Johnson, the Getting high up. flyer, just going to LeBron him. Oh, many, many chase down. 
his head knocked the rim here. That is incredible athleticism. But again, what's impressed me most about him is not necessarily the, the style points offensively and the dunks. It's been his motor on the defensive end and the pride he has taken. I mean, when he got beat off the dribble, you could tell he was ticked off about it. He's like, I'm going to get this one. Fifth victory of the year. Johnson's got to hurry. Off the pump fake. James buries the mid-range. Second bucket for Josiah James. Time winds down. That'll just about do it. One more desperation here. 102 to 66. Number eight, Tennessee improves to 5-0. St. Joe's falls to 0-5.